We begin with this breaking news here at 6 o'clock. A driver tries to escape a traffic stop and heads the wrong way down I-20 East at the downtown connector. And you can see what happened. The wrong way vehicle crashed into two others, uh, causing a horrific scene. It's caused traffic delays for hours now. Channel 2's Richard Elliott live over the crash scene in southeast Atlanta. So Richard, police said that the driver jumped out of the vehicle and ran. So do they know where that person is? They do not know where that person is right now. I'm going to show you some good news first. About an hour, 45 minutes after this crash happened, a really bad high-speed three-car pileup. All the lanes are back open now. Uh, hats off to GDOT and GSP. We're clearing those three cars off the interstate. You can see, uh, you might be able to see the hero unit right now leaving the scene. All lanes westbound at I-20 are open. This is what Georgia State Patrol is telling us happened. A trooper was making a traffic stop because they say a vehicle was heading in the emergency lane. As he was doing that traffic stop, that driver, they say, made a U-turn in the middle of the interstate and tried going in the opposite direction. As that person was doing that, he clipped two different vehicles, flipping one of them on its side. The good news is there were no serious injuries involved in this crash. Now, as you said, after all of this happened, the driver of that car jumped out of the car and apparently took off running into these woods here on the right. So they are still looking for this driver. He's going to be facing a, a lot of uh, very serious traffic charges once they catch him. Again, good news, all lanes westbound I-20 are open. Bad news, it's still affecting uh, traffic uh, heading westbound. So you may still want to avoid this area. We're live in Southeast Atlanta, Richard Elliott, Channel 2 Action News. And no serious injuries. And, and we all know how oftentimes those wrong way drive situations end up. So we're grateful for that. Richard, thank you.